Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech5 Production. So after our last week's video of laptop versus desktop, which form of PC is right for you? You've decided to go for a laptop and come across two laptops with specs that you're interested in, with the same GPU but quite different in pricing. And when you look further in into the tech spec, uh, there seems to be some differences in the power draw of this GPU. Let's go through together on what differences you could expect from buying laptops with a GPU of the same name, but different power limits. So for today's video, we'll be talking about the ASUS Tough Gaming F15 and comparing it against the MSI Thin GF63. Since both of them are using the RTX 4050, but of course, the devil's in the details. Or in this case, in the power limits of their GPUs. Let's start off with their pricing differences. The ASUS Tough Gaming F15 is priced at 5,299 ringgit, whereas the MSI Thin GF63 is priced at 4,099 ringgit. So there is quite a difference in price. Starting off with the ASUS Tough Gaming, it's running on an Intel Core i7-12700H. It's a 14-core 20-thread processor with 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of Gen 4x4 NVMe SSD with a 140W GeForce RTX 4050. As for the MSI Thing GF63, it's running on an Intel Core i5-12450H. It's an 8-core 12-thread processor with 16 gig of RAM, 512 gig of NVMe SSD Gen 4x4 II, and 45 watts of GeForce RTX 4050. And if you want something closer in price with the MSI Thin from the ASUS side, there's also the ASUS Tough Gaming A15, which is priced at 4,699 ringgit, but it swaps the i7-12700H with an AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS. So the main differences we wanted to find out is what performance difference we can see from two same GPU, but with different power limits or different power draws. So let's run some benchmark and see their differences. Those were the results. Let's put our focus more on the gaming benchmark sides though, as the productivity benchmark will also be affected more by the processors of the laptops. So in our gaming benchmark, we can see that the 140 watt RTX 4050 from the Tough F15 is on average about 20 to 25% faster than the 45 watt RTX 4050 from the MSI Thin GF63. So. If you're in a market for a new gaming laptop, make sure you choose the GPU with the power limit that fits the performance that you're looking for. After checking those performance numbers, let's also have a look at the design of these laptops and see what both of them have to offer. First off, let's start off with the ASUS Tough Gaming F15. Starting off, I have to say I really like the whole rugged look that Tough laptops are known for. You can see from the things like the top cover cut out around here, as well as the chassis having a boxier look similar to an older laptop. The bottom part of the Tough F15 also continues this design language with distinct sharp angles and even the screw holes being shaped hexagonally instead of the normal round shape. Nice attention to detail over there. 
Now let's have a look at the MSI Thing GF63. It follows back the more traditional gaming laptop look with smooth blacked out blacks and red accent for the MSI logo. The laptop chassis itself also has smooth curves on the top of the screen to make it have a more organic look compared to the tough F15. Now besides the design and GPU performance differences, there's actually a few extra things or features that the ASUS TUF has for the slightly more premium price. For example, NVIDIA's Advanced Optimus allows you to control the MUX switch automatically, routing the display data from the NVIDIA GPU directly to the display to optimize performance and switching to the integrated graphics for better battery life when you don't need all that performance. Compared to laptops without the MUX switch, you will get better performance and lower latency and you don't have to restart the laptop every time you want to switch unlike older laptop with the MUX switch but not Advanced Optimus so one of the features that the TUF has These features can help prolong the battery life of the laptop which I must say the battery life on the TUF F15 is actually very impressive for a gaming laptop as I managed to squeeze almost Four hours of usage while writing this review with different Chrome tab open such as YouTube and Google Drive also in part thanks to it having a 90 watt hour battery where as I only managed to get around one and a half hour on the MSI Thin GF63 despite having a lower wattage GPU of 40 watts this is because the absence of Nvidia's advanced optimal support technology that we just mentioned along with it having a smaller 52.4 watt hour battery on it. Another feature that the ASUS Tough Gaming F15 does better would be its screen. While both these laptops are running on a full HD 1080p display with refresh rates of 144Hz, the Tough F15 has a color coverage of 100% sRGB, while the MSI Thin GF63 has sRGB of around 62.5%. Now you can really feel the difference when you're doing media consumption on videos with a lot of deep blacks or even a lot of difference in contrast. There's differences in small quality of life things too, where the TUF F15 has things such as Thunderbolt 4 support, a faster USB Type-C with it being USB 3.2 Gen 2 instead of Gen 1, and USB Type-C charging support that's always convenient to have in any modern laptops. There's also things like having two NVMe slots for you to add more storage later on and having two Upflow fans versus the single fan setup from the MSI Thin. So the heat dispersed will feel slightly more even rather than it being concentrated in one area. Last but not least, there's the expected military grade durability. So we know the build quality will be top notch. The area where we felt this the most is from the touchpad where you can tap on the MSI Thin's touchpad and it will feel slightly hollow and empty. Whereas the TUF F15's feels solid and whole. And that's all on our look on the ASUS TUF Gaming F15 and the MSI Thin GF63. Two laptops with GPU of the same name but have a big difference in performance due to the difference in power limits. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to share it to all your friends and family and give this video a like if you liked it. Remember also to subscribe to us and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! Balik beli